Okay, YouTube, welcome back to another video. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this bad boy here, the latest release from Arrow Video, Death Walks Twice. Two films by Luciano Ercoli. And I'm going to go over the special features and all that stuff with you guys. And then I'm going to unbox it and we'll go through and we'll check out the insides here. It says here at the top, Death Walks Twice. Emerging at the peak of the giallo boom in the early 70s, Luciano Ercoli's Death Walks films are two superlative examples of the genre linked by their shared casting of Spanish-born actress and model Nieves Navarro, billed under her adopted stage name of Susan Scott as the lead woman in peril. In Death Walks on High Heels from 1971, exotic, exotic dancer Nicole, the daughter of a murdered jewel thief, finds herself terrorized by a black-clad assailant determined on procuring her father's stolen gems. Fleeing Paris and her knife-wielding pursuer, Nicole arrives in London only to discover that death stalks her at every corner. And returning in Death Walks at Midnight, 1972, Navarro stars as Valentina, a model who, in the midst of a drug-fueled photo shoot, witnesses a brutal murder in the apartment opposite hers. But when the authorities refuse to believe that a crime has been committed, Valentina is forced to assume the role of amateur sleuth. It says, offering up all the glamour, perversity, and narrative twists and turns that are typical of the giallo genre at its best, Luciano Ercoli's Death Walks on High Heels and Death Walks at Midnight anticipate the super stylized trappings of Brian De Palma's early psycho thrillers, most notably Dressed to Kill. So, you guys can kind of kind of get a feel of what those films are like, what they're about. Gotta love the Giallo films, they're really good. These are very underrated films too, I'm, I'm so glad that Arrow put these out. This here is a limited edition box set, 3,000 copies, containing Death Walks on High Heels and Death Walks at Midnight. They both come with a brand new 2K restoration uh, from the original film Elements. Both of them are in high def Blu-ray, 1080p. And it also comes with the standard definition DVDs. And they're both, uh, the Blu-rays are A, B, and the DVDs are Region 1, Region 2. Uh, let's see what else. We have original Italian and English soundtracks in mono audio. We have newly trans translated English subtitles for the Italian soundtrack. Optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing for the English soundtracks. Um, has a limited edition 60-page booklet containing new writing on the films from authors Danny Shipka, who penned Perverse Titillation, The Exploration Cinema of Italy, Spain, and France, uh, Troy Haworth from So Deadly, So Perverse, 50 Years of Italian Giallo Films. That sounds like a good one. I'd like to try to pick that one up. And writer Leonard Jacobs. And they both, both of the films have audio commentary by film critic Tim Lucas, which if you guys don't know Tim, he is outstanding, a, a very good film historian. He's uh, here in the U.S. and he lends out his talents to a lot of aero releases and other companies as well. He's a Mario Bava expert, among others. Um, Let's see, we have uh, commissioned artwork by, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It looks like it's Gillis Vrancek. I apologize if I butchered that name. And I guess we'll just go ahead and bust into this bad boy here, and we'll take a look at the inside, and I'll try to cut this video a little bit short here. I'm sure there have been quite a few unboxings of this already. The UK usually gets theirs a little bit before the US, so... And here, as always, the uh, Arrow releases have a really nice, thick um, cardboard sleeve here that houses the disc and the book. Very, very nice. Very nicely done. And let's see, we'll go through the booklet really quick here first, the 60-page book. And it looks really, really good. Just... 
And as always, Arrow Video really puts a lot of care and effort into their releases. And as collectors, um, we spend a ton of money on our collection. We really appreciate that little extra effort that companies go through that put, you know, that put out on uh, in their releases and it really shows. And I've said it before, time and time again, I will keep giving Aero Video my money. They keep putting out releases like this. I'm just going to give them access to my bank account. And, I mean, this is this is fantastic, guys. This is really nice. I'm sure my phone is not picking up the quality that deserves to be shown here for this book. But this is really nice. It's really crisp. The pages are thick. Tons of write-ups in here. It even has that nice new smell. I love it. I'm not going to go through the whole book, but because there is 60 pages. Some essays in there and some write-ups and everything you'd need to know about Death Walks Twice. So that is really nice that they throw that in there for you like that. And I believe that the book in this set is only limited to 3,000, but I would not be surprised if Arrow re-releases them just as uh, keep case editions. So if you guys are fans of the box set type sets like this with the books, you may want to jump on this one right away. I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, I think they're, they have about half of the stock left. And I don't remember what I paid for this. I used some of my Arrow points, so I think I paid about 60 bucks for that. Uh, this one is Death Walks on High Heels. And it's AB in Region 1-2 for DVD. This is the unrated edition here. And Death Walks on High Heels is from 1971. This is the first one. And there you have some nice disc art on the DVD. Well, that's the Blu-ray, I'm sorry. There's the DVD. And then here's the reverse cover. Death Walks on High Heels. And if you look at the No Shame DVD, it's a, this is a much better version of what this should have been. This almost looks like it was incomplete. that DVD back in and I'll show you guys the art card here it comes with uh, Sheba baby and in true arrow fashion it just has a little reversible image here of some of their previous titles so that is death walks on high heels and finally, Death Walks at Midnight. Really nice cover art there. I like that. I like it a lot. And here, I almost knocked this little. I did knock it out. That little swing tray came out. Okay, there's the Blu ray. There's the DVD, and there is the reverse cover, which does look pretty nice. I like the way that pink pops off that black in the background, but I am going to stick with that cover. And then this one does not come with an art card, which is fine with me, it's okay. And I'm trying to... Um, I don't know if I should go over all these special features. Maybe I'll just pick out a couple that kind of pop out at me here. You have an introduction to the film by screenwriter Ernesto Gastaldi. You have extended TV version of the feature. Uh, Crime Does Not Pay from screenwriter Gastaldi. Um, Desperately Seeking Susan, a visual essay by Michael McKenzie, exploring the distinctive giallo collaborations between Ercole and star Nieves Navarro. 
And I'm really looking forward to the commentary from Tim Lucas. I always enjoy his work. The stuff that he does on the Baba films is phenomenal. And here on this one, you have um, a featurette called From Spain with Love. His newly edited archive footage from director Ercoli and actress Nieves Navarro. And they were interviewed at their home in Barcelona. You have Master of Giallo, screenwriter Gastaldi on Death Walks on High Heels and How to Write a Successful Giallo, which would be pretty a pretty fun watch. Death Walks to the Beat, a career-spanning interview with High Heels composer Stelvio Cipriani. And it has trailers. And I was looking at the back of the No Shame to kind of compare special features. And the Arrow set has more. They have more special features. But the um, the No Shame edition here has... Uh, the third disc is a CD soundtrack. So those of you who have the No Shame, I would not get rid of that one just yet. You might want to keep hang on to that if you're a fan of the, the films and... You know, you want to keep that uh, CD soundtrack in your collection. So, because Arrow did not uh, put out a CD soundtrack. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys have a chance to grab this one. If you're fans of the Giallo genre and um, if you're just fans of Arrow overall with their awesome box sets, you should probably pick that up and add it to your collection. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a good weekend.